Well, I've just arrived in uh, Thornton Heath at the D Derby and Joan Club, where there's a lot of buzz and a lot of posters on the wall. And uh, I've just met uh, Guy and also Cormac, who I know, and we're here to uh, talk about asset-based community development because they've actually been doing it here. Guy, tell me a little bit about, the, uh, about what's been going on. Well, we're trying to make, uh, connect people together, people who have skills, to people who need those skills. And um, it's, it's become a very successful program. We've got boards up, up here, as you will see, with people who've got pledges of what they want to do for their community, in their community. And um, we're hoping to spread the message wider and wider, because it looks like this is the model that, um, that, that is the future. So. And, uh... Cormac, Cormac Russell, who I've met uh, quite a few times before. Cormac, how did this get started? How it got started was the NHS in Croydon uh, came to an event that we ran a two-day workshop on ABCD, and they got excited. They wanted to start commissioning this way. Uh, so they approached us, and they approached Croydon Voluntary Action Group to start working this way. And then CVA, Croydon Voluntary Action Group, connected with 20 connectors. Guy is one of those connectors. And uh, just began to support them to do what they've been doing probably all their lives, which is connecting with people and uh, just uh, mobilizing people into productive action, into connections and relationships. So, um, Guy, what's the difference between... We're here all about this during the course of the day, I know. But... Um, What's the difference between Thornton Heath a couple of years ago and Thornton Heath as it is uh, now? Well, there's a much greater community spirit going on. Um, you, it, it, it's about people getting together and appreciating each other and what they, what they have in their own area. That's the, at the core of what we're trying to do and making people start to care again. Sorry.